Hi there, this is Kasha from Townline Equipment and today we're going to go over some of the features and benefits of the brand new KX057-5. The first feature I'd like to show you on the new KX057-5 is the easy to access side panel. Once you have this single door open, you have easy access to your valves, your hydraulic reservoir, and your cooling system. As Kasha mentioned, this machine has a single panel for its hydraulic system on the side. In that same concept, we now have this panel for the back of our machine, which gives us immediate access to our water separator here on the left. Centrally located in the middle is your fuel filter. Right here on the right is your oil filter, dipstick, and fill. Something new now, which I think came from complaints on the Dash 4, is there is a little oil catch pan underneath your filter, and that has a drain line that comes out here underneath your counterweight. So we can put a catch pan there now, and all of the oil drains into it instead of over the motor mounts. As we work around to the side, this machine has a lockable panel that covers your fuel tank, and we still have our fuel fill alarm right there. Everything is lockable with your standard construction key. Like the new access panels on this machine, Kubota has also upgraded the work lights to two LED work lights on top of the cab and one work light located on the center of the boom. They've also added a little storage compartment down here for your grease gun. And now Spencer will go over the new display screen. All right, we're inside the cab of this new Dash 5 and we're going to go through one of the biggest improvements and that is this operator screen right here. Um, on the home page, on the left side, we've got the temperature readout for your hydraulic fluid. On the right side, temperature readout for the engine temp. Bottom here is your fuel. And in the center, this is the implement the excavator is using. So right now, digging buckets engaged. If we want to engage our hydraulics, we're going to use this button. And right there, it brings us to, hypothetically, our hammer attachment. So on our left joystick now, we can control that implement. We cycle the button off, and it goes back to digging bucket. Hydraulics are off. Over here on this corner, this is your control for your dash. So let's start here on page one, your periodic checklist. This is keeping track of the machine's service intervals for all of your individual components, engine oil filter, fuel filter, air element, hydraulic oil, engine oil. So it's keeping track of how much time you've got left and then the next time it should be serviced. If we back out to our home screen here, we can scroll down. Uh, page two is log records. Three is any error messages you might have. So this time of year when it's cold in the morning, right here you're gonna have your message saying preheating, warming up. Um, as we go over, this is auxiliary settings. So this is probably the most useful page to be familiar with. We'll enter there. Mode select here. This is where we're going to adjust the machine's flow rates to specific implements. So one would be your thumb. Two, as I showed you, would be a hammer. Three might be a uh, dishing bucket. So we would want to. Let's do this. We're going to enter three. So now we're using mode three. And then we're going to scroll over to auxiliary settings. We're going to go down to flow volume settings. We're going to go to number three, and this is where we are going to adjust our flow. So um, if we're using our ditching bucket, we want to leave the right side alone because that's going to be our thumb. The left side is going to be the flow for the ditching bucket. So let's enter there. Maybe this ditching bucket slams under full flow. So we're going to dial it back to half and so forth on the other side. We're going to give it half flow and then we are going to exit out and 
now we set our machine up for a ditching bucket all without getting out of the cab we don't need to mess with the valve bank everything is now done right here through this nice operator display in the cab if this video has sparked interest in the new kx057-5 please feel free to reach out to us at either of our locations in plainfield new hampshire or pittsford vermont and make sure to check out our website at townlineequipment.com for more videos on Kubota equipment.